Good evening, just got to the hangar. I know it's been a while, but we're going to Tokyo, a bunch of places in Australia, and Honolulu. Uh, it's another Thanksgiving trip. Grab your bags, we'll head inside and do some flight planning. getting the cockpit ready doing the cockpit pre-check um, tonight we're doing a flight from Philly to Anchorage we're gonna do a fuel stop get fuel switch uh, flight engineers and then continue on with three pilots to um, Tokyo it's gonna be a long night we'll have a bunch of coffee uh, some good food on the way all right we're walking out to the airplane they're fueling the airplane up right now going to be about six hours and 50 minutes to Anchorage and then about close to seven hours out to Tokyo. Um, we're going to take about 35,000 pounds. We're going to fly at flight level 430. Uh, the Gulfstream G650s have an MOL maintenance uh, letter of operations uh, stating we can only fly the airplane at 250 knots maximum because they're having a rudder issue that causes Dutch roll so until they get that fixed, we're uh, kind of limited to 250 knots. But once you get to altitude, uh, that kind of doesn't have as much of an effect and we can get it up to Mach 0.87 uh, at altitude, which isn't too bad. So uh, once they're done fueling, we'll fire up the airplane, get ready and we'll head to anchor. Here's the crew rest area in the G650. Get about two hours of uh, sleep in here on our way to Anchorage and then another two hours down to uh, Tokyo. Unloading the bags, checking the airplane, doing our post flights, and we're gonna head to the hotel. We're staying downtown Tokyo. We just took the shuttle over to the terminal, had to go through customs. Now we're waiting for the rest of the crew to get through customs. We're gonna head to the van and uh, drive to the hotel. It's about a 30 minute drive to the uh, Tokyo Marriott. It's a quiet night here at the Marriott. We're here after midnight. Everyone's asleep. Hey 
I know this is weird, but I just wanted to show you the toilet here in Japan. Here is the control panel for the toilet. You almost need a type rating to work this toilet. Good morning on our trip to uh, Japan and Australia. We're here in the uh, Tokyo Marriott. Um, it's about 6.30 in the morning. I only got about three and a half hours of sleep, which is unreal because I've been up for over 24 hours before this. So just can't sleep anymore. So it's breakfast time. And uh, I'm gonna decide what we're gonna do today. We only have about a day and a half here, so not much time to get into anything. I found some things to do today. I'm gonna to go ride some go-karts around the city of uh, Tokyo here, dressed up as a character or uh, some kind of superhero, whatever uh, kind of costumes they have. But it should be fun, it's a great day out. It's about 57 degrees Fahrenheit here in Tokyo, sunny day. So we're gonna find the uh, go-kart shop and go have some fun. go-kart spot everyone's dressed up I'm uh, gonna be Batman for the day and drive around the city in these go-karts should be a pretty good time yeah the closer you are the better it is if there's too much space other cars especially taxi drivers they will cut us off here we go setting up getting our briefing for the go-kart here we go go-karting around the city Never thought I'd be doing this in Tokyo. work all of a sudden again okay it so kept it's shutting off door. yeah it, it was dying and then it shut off started a couple times and now it seems like it wants to go
driving the go-karts around the city of Tokyo. It was absolutely amazing. If you ever get here and you have the time, definitely recommend jumping on a go-kart, cruising through the city. Felt pretty amazing. A little scary at some times, but it was definitely well worth it. Nothing like a nice udon snack after driving go-karts all day. Nice soft udon, nice and chewy. There's some uh, garlic, scallions, lime, and then a piece of uh, tempura fish. I love udon. Uh, nice fresh udon, so chewy. This is some of the best udon I've ever had. It beats any udon in Philly or anywhere else in California. Flavors are amazing. You get the chili powder, the scallions, the garlic, and the uh, soy sauce that they put on top. It's probably not soy sauce, but it's absolutely amazing. I could eat this every day. Well, good evening. It's about 8 p.m. I just got up from about a five hour nap after my go-kart rides. Um, it was great to actually sleep. I can't believe after 24 hours of not sleeping, that I only got three hours of sleep when we landed, but I guess that's just how it goes. Your body does some weird things sometimes. I'm gonna go have a, a quick bite to eat and then probably uh, go back to sleep until tomorrow morning because I'm still exhausted. So we're not really gonna go out and do anything tonight. So tomorrow morning, uh, we might get into some things, probably go find another udon place uh, for our flight to Australia. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, good morning from Tokyo. It's about 10.30 uh, a.m. Got up a little late today, uh, slept in. Going to have some lunch. We're going to an udon place, uh, udon shin, and then a ramen place, uh, very top rated udon place. Uh, I can't wait, waiting for the taxi now. And uh, then we're gonna come back, probably take a nap, and head to the airport. We have an 11 p.m. departure tonight, and we're going to Cairns, Australia. Well, it's raining and pouring outside. And uh, Udon Shin had a line that wrapped around the block, so we came uh, one street over and we're going to have uh, another different meal. Wow. The noodles are so chewy and al dente and raw. It's a nice spice to it and the flavors are amazing. Well, we just got back to the hotel. It was raining like cats and dogs out there. We did not get to go to Udon Shin like I was hoping. The line was wrapped around the corner. I didn't have an umbrella, so I didn't feel like standing out in the rain for an hour. So we just went to a Chinese restaurant here in Japan the only place that didn't have a line wrapped around it but uh we had a pretty good meal we're back at the hotel like i said gonna try and take a nap and uh then we'll head to the airport for tonight's flight to australia below and leave us a comment. We'll see you on the next flight.